Okay, we're going to tie a fly called the beadhead minnow. Uh, I don't know who designed this fly. Uh, I saw it in an Orvis catalog. I bought some for my store. It became a very popular seller. And uh, when they, Orvis stopped selling them, uh, I got the recipe from them and started tying them for the shop because it was so popular. This fly probably accounts for more of the landlocked salmon in a season uh, for me than any other fly. So uh, I start this, uh, I've got a bead on here that is the uh, proper size for the hook. This is a size four hook. This is as large as I tie this fly. Uh, I put uh, just enough lead on here, non-lead lead wire to stuff up inside that head and stabilize the head a little bit. And then uh, start my red thread. This is a six aught thread. I wouldn't use anything, you don't need to use anything smaller than this. It's a very quick, very easy fly. It's very simple. Uh, the biggest problem is overdressing the fly and letting your thread slide down off the uh, taper you've built like I just did. I'm gonna have to uh, put that back up. I'll pay for that in a minute. Uh, so this is the material, wing and flash. It's the only thing I know of that actually works for this fly. I've tried crystal flash, I've tried regular flashaboo, but this wing and flash is uh, the super fine, uh, well I believe it is flashaboo, it's just really thin flash flashaboo. And uh, it, it's the, what does the trick. It's, it's the key ingredient to this fly. I just pull some out of the package like you saw me do and then I just keep folding the ends in. You can see the loops on the ends there and uh, I get it compressed in the center of the bundle that I've got and then I just rotate the vise so that I'm looking down on the top of it and take my bundle and wrap it around the thread and now I gotta climb back up on the taper uh, here so that my thread is up on the uh, taper where I originally intended to leave it. And uh, so I've caught that, I've wrapped down. I don't wanna go back uh, very far, so I'm wrapping back up, leaving the thread in the middle where I want it this time. And I'll just take my scissor points and cut through any of those loops that I formed, which gives me uh, bunch of varied lengths which is what I want and then any really super long pieces I'll just go ahead and trim them off after I stroke this back. I'm good with what I've got there and so I just do the exact same thing again only uh, this time with pearl and again it's the wing and flash uh, it's it's the material to use the gold on the top the pearl on the bottom Again, I just nip the corner off the package and grab a few fibers and strip them out and uh, then just fold the ends and loose pieces back towards the center. Keep pulling them in, roll it a little bit, compress the center of the ball, and then wrap it onto my thread. And trying to keep the thread in the middle of that taper that I built. Oops, I just knocked it off again. <laughs> Let me roll up so I'm looking at my uh, tie-in point. I'll unwrap this thread, get it up in the middle. There we go. And tie in right there on the bottom. Wrap back, trying not to extend any further back towards the bend of the hook. Wrap that back up. And again, use my scissors. Rotate the vise to a comfortable position, cut through those loops. It gives me a bunch of varied lengths instead of a square cut at the end of the wing. I want it to be all varied lengths like this and you can see how it kind of forms an envelope around the hook. Stroke these pieces back, nip off the real long ones. That's pretty much it. I'll stroke back these loose fibers here, build a head. When I get
get this head built, put some head cement on it, and I'll be ready to go. And again, like I, I uh, said earlier in the video clip, this fly probably accounts for more of my landlocked salmon in a season uh, than any other uh, streamer fly that I fish. And I fish a lot of streamers. Very good, very easy, very quick tie. And it's a good thing it's a quick tie because they're not especially durable. Uh, but trying to use something else besides winging, wing and flash uh, just doesn't seem to work. I've just not found anything else that does as good a job attracting the fish. So there you have it. A beadhead minnow tied using rotary fly tying techniques.